I just never knew that like someone like me could experience this. This journey begins in Cheyenne, Wyoming. My family and I took a trip out west when I was 10 years old. And Wyoming was one of the places I remember most. And ever since then, I've had this deep longing to return. It took me 17 years, but I finally did it. And even though I wasn't in Wyoming for long, I savored every bit of the beauty and magic it had to offer. It was just as incredible as I remembered. know if I'm alive. is beyond anything that I've ever seen in my life. Exactly what I'm looking for And as we grow I'll keep running till I can no more. Oh my gosh Oh my gosh The sun Look at it. Oh my gosh. I feel like the luckiest person on the planet. All of the struggles and the hardships, especially with my last van, 10 months of that, and just in general, everything that I've been through has led me right here. And I know that this is so dramatic, but I'm here in Utah watching the sun, which is literally neon pink. I'm watching it set over the bluest water with cliffs and rocks in the background. like. I had to move the camera because it was messed up, but this is me experiencing something new for the very first time at 27. I have never seen anything like this. And all these years, 10 years of dreaming about traveling the country in a van. And like when I was 17, I had no clue what that would look like. It always felt so out of reach. And 
like it could never happen and I'm here right now doing it experiencing it and I just I have chills like like I have never seen the sun look like that in my life ever and I wish I could zoom in and show you but my camera lens is broken I have to get a new one and I just never knew that through all of the struggles that I have been through that that I would experience something that makes me feel like this does right now <laughs> and I know it's silly to get so emotional but I don't know it's just so grand and beautiful and <laughs> I just never knew that like someone like me could experience this and I almost didn't even come because it wasn't on a street like it wasn't on the straight route from Boulder to Salt Lake so I almost missed out on this and I never would have known what I was missing out on so a couple lessons here take the extra time to explore and to do the thing that you might not in the moment feel like doing but when you get to it it's it just blows you away and you'll never know unless you do it the other lesson is that when things are hard they can get better and probably will even in 2019 2018 especially those were really hard years for me and then 2020 everything that I went through with my last fan but now I'm here <laughs> experiencing this and it just puts it all into perspective that like things will get better and they do get better and even when you feel like it's an, it will be impossible to do that thing that you want to do or reach that goal that you want to reach God will provide some somehow you will get where you're meant to be and I just feel like so many things are falling into place and whenever I'm in somewhere like this it, it really makes it sink in and it just makes me realize how truly blessed I am to be alive just to simply be alive and to be able to experience this the, the simplest but yet grandest thing that I've ever seen. I just wish that someone was here with me to see it. To experience this with me. But I hope that you feel as enveloped and enraptured in this beauty as I do. And I hope that throughout my time in this spot you feel like you're here too and that you can see how beautiful it is too so I'm gonna make dinner and pull my hair back and put a hoodie on because it's really windy and just sit outside and I don't think I'll be able to see the sunset because it's so cloudy or like foggy because the sun is going behind the fog right now but I'm just going to be so present here and make the most of every moment that I'm here <sighs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you
if you can hear how windy it is outside, but it's so windy and I'm right on the beach looking at the water and it's just perfect. This is kind of worrying me. Let's see how it goes. Eternal Embrace by Rick Lupert. Context. Archaeologists in Italy have discovered a couple buried 5,000 to 6,000 years ago hugging each other. That's the way I want to go. In her arms, teeth intact. Discovered in 5,000 years, a beacon to the loveless masses of the future. Our femurs and tibias commingled, a love only bones could know. We'll be black and white movies, an innocent portrayal of a time long gone. They knew how to do it back then. They'll say, just imagine if they still had eyes. Beautiful in love 